G'day all, welcome back to the channel and thanks again for joining me for another round. Alright, today's course we have the Vancouver Club and it's designed by Brave Caleb. Alright, what have we got in the way of settings? We have fairways are normal, greens are firm, green speed is medium and we will be playing from the white tees measuring 6,827 yards. Alright, gathering from the pitches over on um, the forums there on the TGC Tours, this looks like it's going to be an absolutely beautiful course. Alright, let's get out there and check it out. Okay, here we are. Let's um, let's actually rip the camera right up today and pan right out. Let's get a massive big view of this course. Alright, look at this. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I did see pictures of um, some buildings in the background, but wow, I did not think it was that many. This looks absolutely insane. Now, there is quite a big write-up about this um, course. He's put like a bit of a backstory in. So, yeah, if you are um, a member of the tours or you like um, fishing around on their forums, I'll put a link in the description below. I highly recommend that you do go and check out the backstory on this course. I had a good read of it, and, yeah, absolutely brilliant. But, wow, this looks very, very impressive. The Vancouver Club. Look at this. A nice little clubhouse here. Absolutely beautiful, nice car park, and if we can just start wandering down through here, like look at all the little bits of planting. This course looks like it's got a lot of detail to it as well. Let's get up, look at that, absolutely beautiful down in here. Got a nice little tennis court there, a bit of a swimming pool, a little bit of a village. Now there is a hydro plant on the course, which is down there, we'll get back to that. And you can see city in the background we won't go too far in there i don't think there's too much detail but he has put a few roads through there as well which is pretty cool in case you um i guess you see him from the course but wow this looks very very tidy get down through there oh yeah nice little water fountain out there you definitely see that from the course playing down along this hole i'm not sure what hole it is wow beautiful big lake out there as well all right let's get into the meat of it let's get back through the Let's wander back through here. Oh, there's, he's got a couple of little drop-offs here. Let's just let's just go and have a look at look at these. I just want to check this out. Look at that. That they are absolutely perfect. Pretty much. That is very well done. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Let's um yeah. Let's get back through here. Let's um start off from the first tee and come back down. Because I want to go through here, because look at this. This looks absolutely amazing. Wow, oh, look at a bird's nest as well, up in the trees. Like an eagle's nest or something up there as well. That is that is absolutely stunning. The planting on this course looks insane. Absolutely insane. I should actually look at the course, but we'll see that when I'm playing. Nice sort of waste bunker area out here. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at that city in the background. That is just that's gold. That is gold. That is. All right. Let's get over to the hydro plant here. The hydro power plant. Beautiful planting a bit down by the water's edge. I love how he's done that grass really long in there. Wow. Well, there it is. Look at that. He's used the bridges as um the sort of like tunnels where the water's coming out. Nice big drop off at the front as well. Beautiful view from the clubhouse. Oh, this this is absolutely amazing. Where has this person been? Now, it did say in his description here, if I can just quickly pull it up. Um, it does say here, Hi all, this is my first course on 2K21. And, all, and this is also my first post on the forum. Uh, just let me get the camera up a little bit higher. There we go, we'll get up here a bit further. Um, with, with that said, I would like to welcome you to the Vancouver Club. Well, mate, I would just like to say thank you very much because this looks absolutely amazing. Let's get down here. So he's used um, quite a few plants from different different themes too. Beautiful. I like that um, nice green long grass. That looks very nice. Now, there was something else that I did see. Where was it? That is, that is awesome, that section down there. Like that deserty. It's got that desert look to it. 
Uh, where was it? If we can just let's, um, go for a quick little wander down the back of the course. Down through here. Very, very nice. Got the car path too, which doesn't look too bad. I know this um, 2K21 doesn't do the car, um, car paths all that well. Ah, here it is. This massive tree sort of caught my eye. I had a quick fly around on here just before I um, started this. I just wanted to check it out and so, sort of hopefully shorten down the uh, fly around and everything like that. But here, look at this. This is another absolutely beautiful, beautiful planted area down by the course. That looks so good. I've never seen anything like that. That is 100%. That, that's going to look so good from playing up... Um, Playing up on the course and along the fairways and everything like that. Let's just sort of run down through here under the bridge. That is absolutely insane. Wow, look at that. Again, oh, he's got some nice little rock work down here as well. On the um, edge of the hill. Absolutely stunning. Let's just uh, rip back up again. If I can get the camera to come up. There we go. Have one more look at that from this angle. Man, wow, that is a absolutely beautiful looking course. That is insane. All right, let's get back down to the tee and let's start swinging. All right, here we are, hole one. What do we got? Par four, 200 and... No, sorry, I'm looking at the carry. <laughs> My bad. Uh, 424 yards with two feet down. A little bit of wind. And today I am playing with... Um, on the master difficulty as well so this could be um rather interesting might be a bit of a shaky round but we'll see how we go oh slight slow that should make the fairway but wow i can't believe how good this course looks oh when i was um sort of fishing around on the tours for a course to play i've seen the name and i thought oh, i'll have a click on it and i've seen the pictures and i'm like oh my god let's go and hit this all right what do we got here 21 yards 14 feet up 11 miles. Oh, that's going to push us a bit. Might actually... Might actually bring that back to the gap wedge. Let's see if we can get this to um, float up there. Oh, that's an almighty fast into that one. Oh, hit that front edge and roll on beautifully. That should come on nicely, actually. So, yeah, I could be um, up for quite a few big putts today if I'm playing with the Master Clubs. We'll see how we go. And um, was that for a birdie? Oh, he's fist pumping. Yes, it is. All right. One under after the first hole. So, yeah, again, thanks, everyone, for the support. Subscribers are slowly going up, which is awesome. And all you regular um, commenters on the channel, absolutely beautiful. I love it. Yeah, I like the feedback and everything, which is really cool. All right. What do we got here? Hole two, par four, uh, 353 yards, seven feet up, and nine miles going with us. All right, let's launch this. Hopefully, um, straight. So, oh, absolutely nailed it too. Crack that one straight down the middle of the fairway. Some beautiful little rock work out there that I miss flying around. Kind of wanted to keep it short, but you sort of got the gist and seen most of it and everything like that. Okay, uh, what have we got? Fifty-nine yards, five feet up. Actually, is that wind going to push us a bit here? It might. In, oh, we're pretty close. I might actually... Oh, we'll go the lob wedge, I think. I think we'll go the lob wedge on this. Let's see if we can get a roll off, bounce off this hill and kick it in there a bit. Oh, rip the fast. Oh, shit, that didn't go nowhere near as far as I wanted it to. What the hell was that? Oh, I don't you hate those shots. I have them quite regularly. Um, actually, it kind of annoys me a bit. Five iron chip. Hang on, what, what can we do here? What can we do? Six iron chip. Oh, wow, eight iron chip. That's gonna, it's going to run. That is going to run. Why is it giving me a chip? This pitch is too much. Let's go back down here. Flop. Splash. There we go. That looks a bit better. That's better. Right, we might opt for the lob web, lob web, 
I can't even say it. Lob wedge splash. There we go. Oh, that was kind of a mouthful then. I don't know why. It is um, late here at the moment or early, depending on which way you look at it. All right. Let's get this in for a par and keep going because we've spent way too long on this hole. All right. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what happens with those uh, the old lob wedge, lob wedge shots sometimes. Gets me. All right, absolutely beautiful third hole here. What do we got? Par three, 172 yards, 15 feet down. Got a bit of wind going with us. Ooh, can we sneak the eight in there? Get a nice little roll up. Seven iron, maybe. Actually, we might go the seven. No, we're going to go the eight. Sorry, we're going to go the eight. A little bit of low loft on it. Let's see if we can get it roll out a little bit more and bring it over about there. Oh, dead set perfect too. This is going straight at the pin. Does it have the distance though? Oh, it's got beautiful distance. Sit down right there. Oh, that's not a bad shot. Actually, I'm quite liking this master difficulty so far. Nasty little knee knocking shot here. Ask pucker and putt. How much is it going to turn? That's the question. Oh, just sneak, snuck that one in there. All right, two under after the third hole. Okay, here we go. Hole four, par five. Oh, yes, playing towards the city here. That looks absolutely stunning in the background there. What have we got? 522 yards, four feet down. And a little bit of wind that's going to push us out to the left here. Oh, that's going to push me a little bit more, ripping a fast into it. Not a bad shot, though. Uh, we're all right. What's that going to leave us with? Uh, 229, one foot up. Let's go. Straight at it. No, not really. I don't think so. Uh, 229, uh, 5 wood. Ooh, that's going to come in hot. Or a par, it's a par 5, so I think I might just play the 3 iron here. Let's, let's, play, um, let's play smart on this one. Nice little bit of a slow. That should um, counteract the wind a bit. But yeah, absolutely beautiful planning on this course. 100%. I love all the grass work down in the, like, the little hollow areas with the sand and everything. Beautiful bunker work. Where have you been, brave Caleb? I mean, I'm, glad, I'm glad he posted this up on the tours because I can tell you now I would have missed it. I totally would have missed it. Oh, what have I done here? Pitch. Lob wedge pitch. Yeah, absolutely, totally would have missed it. Let's pull that back a bit. Oh, I think I took way too much out of that. Oh, no, this is going to roll up. Get up. Get up. Oh, you little bastard. can turn and roll away from it. Yeah, because I know I mainly get all my courses from the tours. I go on there, like, at lunchtime while I'm at work or anything like that. Man, it makes it a long day when you see a good course, I tell you. All right, let's try and get this one in here. This one's going to turn a little bit, but... How much though? Oh, it's going to stay out. I was actually hoping that first little bit of the break um, to the left there was going to pull it around a little bit more than what it did. Obviously put a bit too much, um, a bit too much arm in that one. All right, what have we got? Hole five, par four, 424 yards, 18 feet down. Let's send it up with the five wood. Oh, slight slow. That was only slight, but man, did that ever go right. Oh, that's not the spot you want to be in. That is definitely not the spot you want to be in right now. Oh, where are we going, actually? Where are we going? Where am I? Hang on. Okay, I'm there. So we're going to be hitting back down there and coming back across to the left. Being a par four. Ooh. 
I think I might rip out the five wood on this, see if we can just crack it through these trees. Get on the car path, get a bounce. Go, you good thing. Oh, you little ripper, look at that. What a bounce. That was like the luckiest bounce I've had in a long, long time. That could have easily pulled up in the shaggy carpet. Oh, here we go. Here we go. If we can put this next to the hole, we still might be able to get this in for a par here. Okay, what have we got? 165, 10 feet down. And we got that bit of wind as well. I think I might come in with a six. I think that wind's going to hold me up a bit, though. I really think it's going to hold me up. Oh, dead set perfect, too. Come on, baby. Be good. Be good. That is going left of the pin. That's it. Let's come back just a little bit. Oh, that's not bad. That is not too bad. Hopefully the green's going to be kind to me here. Ooh, not too bad. I hope. See if we can sneak this one in. <gasps> Damn, did that ever turn? That, that putt was dead straight and that just... Oh, wow, well, I'm dirty about that. I am dirty about that. That just sort of veered straight off to the right, didn't it? Anyway, hole six, par five. What have we got? 505 yards, 33 feet down. I don't expect a real good round today playing with the old Master Clubs, but, oh, wow, I just wanted to come and check it out and, yeah, yeah, just try out the Master Clubs. I mean, not the, it's not Master Clubs anymore, the Master Difficulty. I keep calling them Master Clubs. All right, so used to it. Oh, there we go. That was sweet, that one. Everywhere you look on this course, it's just such a beautiful view. Like I call long grass a beautiful view in this game. <laughs> um, all right, what do we got? Two hundred thirty-one, eight feet down. Ooh, bit of wind. That's gonna hold me up a bit. Coming in with the five wood, par five. Let's play short, play smart. The ripper fast. There we go. Nice slow. I wanted to stay well away from that water's edge. All right, 44 yards. We got lob edge pitch. Now it says it's going to go 53. Will it go 53? That's the question. Now, do I take a bit of power out of this, or do I play it? I'm going to say play it. Let's see what happens. Was that wing going to move it that much? Probably not. Okay, should have taken power out. Oh, not too bad. No, that's, that worked out alright. Still only went 47. Oh, nasty little break on this one. That's going to turn. That last one had nowhere near as much break, and look how much that turned. Oh, see that just dart towards the hole at the end there. Wow, that's a that's that's a birdie, awesome. All right, seventh hole. What have we got? Nice little par three here, 141 yards, 15 feet up. A little bit of wind coming at us too. Do we play the eight? We got that wind. Actually, we might just low off the nine a bit here. Hopefully I don't fall short in the bunker. I've got a feeling I'm going to. Slight fast. That might even get. That might get me up there. Oh, I'm definitely on. Unfortunately, just pulled it left with the old fast swing. Another little break to it. Oh, I underhit it. I hesitated at the end. Or is it going to go? It's going. It's in. Only just. Oh, I did hesitate at the at the end of that putt too. I sort of just backed off. I don't know why, but I did. Um, all right, what have we got here? Eighth hole, par four. Um, 354 yards, five feet up. 
and the wind is going with us. Oh, I'm starting to nail those drives. It's just all the other um, shots of the problem at the moment. Uh, 312 yards, not too bad. That was going with the wind. All right, what have we got here? 43, five up. 53 with the old lob wedge. They've obviously taken power out of that. That'd probably be pretty good. As long as it sits right there. There we go. Okay. This should be a nice little easy birdie here. And let's get going. Stamp that one in, he says. All right, four under. Not a bad round, actually, so far. All right, hole nine. Last of the front, heading back towards the clubhouse where we got part three, 174 yards, eight feet up. Beautiful planting out to the left. Absolutely stunning. All right, eight miles going with us, 174, eight up, six iron. Might get a bounce here. That's probably going to roll on pretty quick, though, I reckon. Look at that wind. That wind's going to push us. Let's um, put a bit of that on it. A little bit of backspin. Hell, could even rip a slower or faster than this yet. Don't know. Yeah, I was going to say that felt slow. Oh, that needs to sit. That needs to sit. That's going to kick forward, I think. Oh, no. I thought I was going to hit a little bit of a slope there and just sort of give it a bit more of a nudge forward, but... That's not too bad. Hmm, this almost looks like one of those straight putts. So we're not going to touch that much, much of that first bit of break, I don't reckon. I mean, like, you know, we're going to sort of putt through it. Oh, here we go. Get there, get there. Oh, you're joking. A little bit too much on it. That was not a bad putt, though. And we managed to sink a nice little par. All right, let's head out the back and see what that's got. All right, what do we got? Hold 10. Par 4. Currently still 4 under. Uh, 558 yards, one foot up. And we got 9 miles going with us. Oh, can you get up over the top of that hill? Might be pushing it here. Oh, I swung at that too. I'm glad that didn't go. Oh, that was slow. Oh, that needs to kick in. That was only 92%. That needs to kick in. That needs to, we need a big bounce. Big bounce. Come on. Come on. Get off. Get off. Shit. All right. Ah, uh, par four. Ah, five would it. Why not? Why not, he says. Actually, we're aiming a bit out here too. Because of the lie and the wind. Actually, probably should have went to three. That wasn't the best one. We're just hacking our way around the course right now. All right, back nine. Going to kill me. No. Um, all right, nine iron. What are we? 70%. 78%. Let's, let's bump that up to six. Nasty lie. Oh, that's going to spit it away from the hole. Oh, wow, this is going to hurt. This hole is really going to hurt. All because of that bloody tee off I tried. All right, this is for par. If this goes, oh my god. Okay, I think that looks about right. Somewhere there. It needs to turn in and just slightly come back a bit. I don't, it's not going to come back enough. That's not a bad putt from that distance. We'll pick up a bogey. I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy. I had sort of like a vision in my head I was going to get like a double or a triple bogey on that one. All right, hole 11. Uh, what have we got? Par 4. 409 yards with 29 feet down. And the wind is going with us. I'm going to try it again. I can't help myself. 
Hopefully we get onto this one. That's better. That's what I needed on the last hole. Alright, that's definitely found the middle of the fairway. Okay, 84, 9 feet up, and a bit of wind. Lob wedge, normal shot with the lob, that's going to carry a bit. Yeah, it's 11 miles as well. I'm going to pull a bit of power out of this, see if we can anyway. Ninety-three percent. That might not be too bad, actually. This could be really good here. And there's the backspin I put on it. I put way too much, way too much. I forgot about that because I decided to take power out instead. That's not bad. That was tracking nicely too. Oh, thank God that dropped. That stayed out there. Must have pushed the putt on that one. Pushed it to the right. That is. All right, here we go. Hole 12. Absolutely beautiful play. I love that planting down in there. Uh, what have we got? Par 5. 565 yards. 15 feet up. And the wind is going with us. I'm aiming out here. Even if I do get a fast hole, I'm hoping to bounce off the hill. I just want to stay away from that, that area. It's not out of bounds, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Let's sort of aim it way out here. And there's that slight little fast. I'm kind of hoping that's going to kick in. Yeah, that should. That should. I just did not really feel like getting a slow and going down in the water in that one. Oh, I'll just put a tree right in front of me. Oh, that's a massive shaped green. That's, a, that's cool, that green. <laughs> I don't mind it at all. Um, all right, what have we got? 275. 32 with the wind. You know what? Being a par five, I might actually just play the three. I might just play play to here with the three on this one. I think that was the better option. That was the smart option, I think. Okay, what have we got? 71 yards, 8 feet up. The old gap wedge. Let's bring it back a little bit here. Oh, that was fast too. I don't think I could have gone any slower actually on the swing. Nice little putt. Come on, baby. We need another birdie here. I'll turn in. There it is. There it is. Hell yes. Five under. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Hole 13. Look at that. Look at that city in the background. That looks... That's, that's great. I love it when the designers do that. I like just put those things right off in the distance and you can still... You can practically see them from everywhere. Um, all right, so what does uh, hole 13, par 3, 188 yards, 12 feet down. Bit of wind pushing us out to the left on this one. And you got 12 feet down. Maybe the 5. Maybe. Oh, it's dead set perfect too. This is looking good. Don't know about the distance. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Just need a nice straight putt. That's all I'm asking. Ooh, not too bad. Still get you though. Still bite you. There it is. Bang. That's in. Alright. Six under now. Not too bad at all. I don't think I'll reach double digits, but I'm going to go for it. Uh, what do we got? 
Um, hole 14, par 5. 582 yards, 16 feet up. Bit of wind pushing us out to the left. Got a nasty little tree right in front of me. So, um... Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's put it there. Let's go about... I'm going to say there. Yeah, what tree? What tree? <laughs> All right, there it is. And hopefully that sticks. Yep, that's in. That's on the fairway. Okay, 295 to go. Let's um, smack that up there, the five wood. Hopefully the wind brings it back in. Just like so. Actually, two good shots so far. I'm on a roll. Okay, what have we got? 69 yards, seven feet up. The old gap wedge. Eight miles is going to push us a bit. Oh, not push us, but like... Yeah, it pushes a little, pushes around a bit, a little bit anyway. Oh, it needs to hit that slope, that needs to hit the slope, oh, there it is, there's the slope. Oh, go, go, get in the hole, get in. Oh, that's a shot, that is a shot. All right, beautiful. And that'll take us to seven under. All right, uh, what do we got? Hole 15, par three, 93 yards. Oh, a little one, uh, 12 feet down. And we do have a fair bit of wind here. That's definitely gonna um, help us get there. Oh, <laughs> that fast. Oh, that's going way right. That is going way right. Oh, actually, that stopped nicely. That could have been a lot worse, that shot. Oh, I didn't like that. I was about to go to... Oh, is it going to... I think it's turned too much. Oh, no, that is in. There it is. There it is. Oh, we are on a birdie streak or what? Eight under. Come on. Okay, hole 16. What have we got? Par 4, 402 yards, 23 feet up. Now, just because I'm playing so good, and I said I was on the master difficulty, just, um... So, you see? There it is. Master. Okay. You all see that? There it is. <laughs> I just had to prove that. Because I'd never go this good with master um, difficulty. Alright. Especially on the weekly rounds. The greens are gnarly. They kill me. They kill me if I'm um, playing the CC rounds or something like that. Alright, so yeah. Hole 16, par 4. 402 yards. 23 feet up. A little bit of wind. Let's put it... Oh, in case I rip it fast. Let's put it about there. Just in case. Oh, it's dead set perfect too. Oh, that's beautifully on the fairway. Yeah, I'd never play this good with Master Clubs. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what it is. I'm just... I'm, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. Okay, what have we got? 124, 18 feet up. Let's get it in there. Okay, seven miles. Pitching wedge. Oh, another beautiful shot. I think I'm slowly starting to figure these shots out. Oh, that's... Uh, it looks like an easy putt, but it, it's one of those ones that it looks easy, but I don't think it is. Just got to time it all right. That's going to turn a bit, I reckon. Yeah, that's going to turn a bit. Oh, 
Oh, I did. Uh, not as much as what I thought. I, stopped, I should have stopped moving it the first time. But no, I had to keep going a little bit further out. It's like, no, a little bit more, a little bit more. And yeah, missed. All right, we still eight under though. We could still get double digits here, especially if we birdie these last two holes. All right, what have we got? 17th hole, par five, um, 495 yards, 24 feet up. A little bit of wind coming at us here. I don't know if I really particularly want to go for that narrow bit of the fairway, but we do have the wind coming at us, so it might not be too bad. The wind might hold it up from running off here. I think it will, yeah, definitely. Okay, 271, 23 up. Let's send it, let's send it with the old five wood. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> That's it. Oh my, that actually. That's on the fairway. I thought that was in the rough for sure. Thank God for that wind, I reckon. Okay, Sandwich, what have we got? 61. Five up. Oh, Sandy. It's got a nice little slope down to it too. So if the wind does hold this up a bit, if it does, it should slope down nicely still. Might go straight at it. Oh, that was way slow. That needs to kick on. That was way slow. I don't know what happened to that swing. But it wasn't good. Alright, that has left me with one almighty putt here. That is really going to turn. Oh, that could be too much. That could be... Oh... Does it go downhill? Let's start going... No, it's all up. Okay. Thought I'd better check that, because this could be... Oh, it's not going to... Oh, a little bit too much... Too much heat on that one. Didn't allow it to break enough. Oh, here we go. Ask pucker and putt now. Oh yes, there we go, pick up a par. Hell yes, did not want another bogey. Alright, unless we can eagle this, I think double digits are out. But that's oh, I've had one hell of a round, absolutely loved it. Alright, hole 18, par 4, 304 yards, 5 feet up. And the wind is going with us. You know what, 5 wood. Five feet up. I might drop it back to the three iron here. Let's just place it. Actually, hang on a minute. Or we could just drive it. You know what? I think we'll go for it. I don't think we're going to make it, but I've been playing so well. I've got, I've got to try something now. Just I've got to do it. I don't know why. It's the hacker in me. Oh, it's a perfect shot too. That wind needs to bring that round. That's going to come in like a duck shot in the ass. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, what a shot. What a drive. On the 18th hole, on the green, in one. Was a drivable par four though. Here it is. Here it is, people. This is the moment. This is what it comes down to right now. There it is, little turkey dance, and we are 10 under double digits. I got there, hell yeah. All right. Wow, what an outstanding course. That was one hell of a beautiful looking course. And absolutely outstanding to play. It's only got 17 plays too. Wow, I think it's, I don't think it's come out, um, been out long, but hell, I highly recommend, if you're still here, go and hit this. Go and hit it right now, absolutely. 
Awesome course. That was so good, man. Thank you very much. Let's um, let's favour that. There is, there is not enough stars for this course. Like seriously, there is not enough. All right, again, that was um, the Vancouver Club, and that was designed by Brave Caleb, who's just um, come onto the forum. So yeah, everyone, give him a warm welcome. Get in there, let him know what you think about his course. Let's encourage him. Let's boost him on because look at that course. Look at that. I can't wait to see what he's got in the future. All right, well, that's me done. Hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks for sticking around. I'll be back soon. So, yeah, if you do like this, by all means, smash that thumbs up, smash that subscribe, and help. Don't forget to tell a friend. All right, I'm out of here. Later.